Have you ever wondered what it's like to work in Saudi Arabia as a Kenyan? Grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and let's delve into that today. Saudi Arabia, known for its vast deserts and rich cultural heritage, is also a land of immense job opportunities. However, as a Kenyan, you might be curious about the working conditions, cultural differences, and legal aspects of working there. Let's kick off with the working conditions. Saudi Arabia boasts a robust economy largely supported by the oil industry. As a result, many Kenyans find themselves drawn to the prospect of working there. The work week typically runs from Sunday to Thursday, with Fridays and Saturdays designated as rest days. The working hours range from 8 to 10 hours per day, depending on the nature of the job. However, it's not all about work. The Saudi Arabian culture is rich and diverse, but it's quite different from the Kenyan way of life. One of the most significant cultural differences is the practice of Islam, Saudi Arabia's state religion. For instance, during the holy month of Ramadan, Muslims fast from dawn to dusk and work hours are reduced. It's essential to respect these cultural practices, even if you don't follow them. Moreover, the dress code in Saudi Arabia leans towards modesty, especially for women. Men are advised to wear long trousers and avoid wearing shorts in public, while women are encouraged to wear an abaya, a long black cloak, in public. Now let's pivot to the legal aspects. Before you can work in Saudi Arabia, you need to secure a work visa, which requires sponsorship from a Saudi-based company. Once you have your visa, you can apply for an ikama, or residency permit, which allows you to live and work in the country. One thing to keep in mind is that Saudi labor laws are strict and they protect both the employer and the employee. You have the right to fair wages, safe working conditions, and protection against unfair dismissal. However, you're also expected to fulfill your contractual obligations and failure to do so can result in penalties. In conclusion, working in Saudi Arabia as a Kenyan can be a rewarding experience, but it's crucial to understand the working conditions, cultural differences, and legal aspects. Remember, the working week runs from Sunday to Thursday, with Fridays and Saturdays as rest days. The culture is deeply rooted in Islam, and the dress code leans towards modesty. Before you can work in the country, you need to secure a work visa and apply for an ikama. And above all, remember that Saudi labor laws are strict, and they protect both the employer and the employee. So, if you're considering this move, equip yourself with this knowledge, respect the local culture, and you'll be well on your way to a successful stint in Saudi Arabia. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep growing.